The spider. Um, it's it's interesting, ironic, sad, however you want to you know portray it. That you know it was the celebration of, of Jackie Robinson on Monday, the day of the tragedy, and right now we are celebrating the life of Jackie Robinson. You know, one of the most important athletes of his time for so many different reasons. The movie has just come out forty two right now. What are your thoughts about Jackie Robinson? And did did Jackie Robinson in any way? Have any impact upon your life? Yeah, and you were you were an athlete for a time. You were a celebrated boxer. So, was there anything that Jackie Robinson did in his life that inspired you? You know, either growing up or even now. Oh, you know, a lot of that might have. Uh, you know, wow, that's that's a that's a that's a great question. But yeah, yeah. First of all, I've been aware of Jackie Robinson since the time I was uh, five or six years old. Of course, you know, even I'm old, but he was a lot older than me. So, but you know, work growing up in the on the south side of Detroit, southeast side of Detroit, and working in my uncle's barber shops, uh, you know, the barber shop is a real cultural gathering in in in, in the black community. It is as many communities, and Jackie Robinson was always not far from our thoughts. Guys like Jackie Robinson, Willie Mays, and Sugar Ray Robinson, all the greats. But Jackie Robinson. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm a bit of a, a, a historian a historian lover and especially athletes. And, and Jackie Robinson, uh, I, I remember seeing a movie on him many, many years ago, way back when I was a kid, and watched what he, the hell he went through as a, as a, you know, as the first black player in the major leagues. And, and the fact that they had, there could have been others like, yes, we're better. That's an inspiration. They, they, he was he was a university student, very intelligent, but he was intense as a as a black. I mean, as a baseball player, and 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 that sort of inspired me. In, in spite of all the adversity, all the hostility towards him, uh, this guy stayed focused on a career, and he took a hit for all of us. That inspires me as Martin Luther King did. Jackie Robinson died young, I mean, in, in his 50s, and his wife once said during the interview that that probably happened because he had diabetes and other things from the tremendous amount of stress during his years as a baseball player. That's a very good point. Um, his wife is still, uh, you know, uh, around right now, and, and she has done interviews about Jackie Robinson, and it's interesting that you have, you know, sometimes in situations like this, you talk about the president and the president's wife, and how everything is concentrated on the president, yet the wife becomes very important in her own way. Here's the wife of Jackie Robinson all these years later. You know, she's still carrying on the campaign and the legacy of what he did. Uh, and back then she had to sit on the sidelines and watch her, her, her man spit on, uh, had rocks tossed at him, called every major dirty name in the book. He, he was at a time when Jackie would ride the bus with the, with the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers, and if it wasn't in Canada, it was okay when he was down, when he was playing in Montreal. But when he went to the United States, they'd drop him off at a boarding house in the colored part of the city, as mm -hmm. they called it back then. And he took heat like hell from from baseball players, even many of his own players. But Branch Ricky picked him because of his because of his nature and because of his intelligence and because he understood what he was doing. He was opening the the, the door. He was he was about he crossed the color barrier, and and and, and it was it was a difficult a difficult time for him. Uh, you know he may have been a star, but he went through hell underneath. And one other thing too, Perry, is the fact that he was a phenomenal uh, uh, fighter in the in the civil rights movement, very close to Martin Luther King and 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 and, and people that were involved in the civil rights. It's very interesting. Again, you know. Uh, some people are, are placed or thrust into a spotlight, and uh, some can handle it, some can't. He certainly did. He was thrust into one of the most incredible crucibles of pressure that you can possibly imagine, as you said. You know, he died young, and who knows how much of that had been a, a factor of just all of the stress, pr stress, pressure, everything that he went through. And yet again now, all these years later, his story is as vibrant and as strong as ever, and it's a good thing someone came together and decided to do the movie Harrison Ford. 
Stars is Branch Ricky. I think there's a lot of a lot of elements. I haven't chat, had, had, had a chance to see the movie. I'm certainly going to look forward to seeing it. But uh, I think it's great that someone's done it because uh, if we don't remember history, we're going to forget it. And, and, and it's always good to bring this to the attention of young people today so they can perhaps be reminded of what was sacrificed for them to be where they're at today. There's so much we could talk about uh, on things like this during the Civil Rights Movement. Jackie Robinson, one of the greats, but Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr., who practically uh, uh, bankrolled the, the early part of the Civil Rights Movement, very close to Frank Sinatra and people that, even like Charlton Heston, who who was with the National Rifle Association, you know, he was a he, he was right wing conservative, but he believed that everybody was equal, and he fought and and and, and invested in the civil rights movement as is Jane Fonda. There's so much to do, but Jackie was right at the front of that, and you're right, thrust into a, a role that Jackie was basically a shy guy. He wasn't an outgoing person. He was very private in many ways, not like Willie Mays and some of the others. He's more like a Hank Aaron style guy. He never said a lot. But you know one thing we must remember too. He's the oldest. Uh, he was the oldest person to become rookie of the year. Unbelievable stat and uh, very good stat. Spider, we can go on and on about this because usually when you and I talk, we do go on and on. But uh, you know what? On oh, my website or anything, do I get a chance to do that? Plug away. Okay, uh, you can reach me at spiderjones at rogers dot com or my website is www dot spiderjones dot com. And thank you, Perry. You're a fine man, Spider. You can hang with me anytime. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, bye. Good talk to you. Bye.